Well, g'day and welcome to episode 15 of Muso Hub. And um, my special guest is uh, Mr. Dave Panny. G'day, Dave. How are you? Hi, John. I'm good. That's good. I'm not that special. Not that special. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Dave. Dave just said he was slightly, uh, slightly nervous about it being live, but I said just treat it like a jam session, like yeah, with the cameras. Just, just, no, there's only a couple of people <laughs> in the room watching you. Hope, hopefully, there's a few more than two, but um, maybe not. Um, now, what we'll do is uh, just ask Dave a few questions um, about, you know, how he, how he's got on into the music scene and. Um, Things like that, as we usually do. So, Dave, what's what's your first memories of music? Well, how did you get interested in music? Is it in the family or? Um, guess so. Um, my brother always sort of played when I was younger, and I guess sort of growing up listening to ACDC and seeing Angus Young running around on the on the TV and stuff. I used to love it. And, yeah, yeah. And um, I think Mum used to always sing opera and stuff, but like only just in the kitchen. But yeah, yeah. So. But not definitely not professional. But yeah. yeah, I think basically seeing my brother um, in bands when I was really young, mm -hmm. and used to watch him jam in the shed, and yeah, yeah, that looks like fun. So um, your first memories, what age did you say you think when you actually did you start playing an instrument, or what uh, did you I think do? I started playing at about thirteen. Yeah, I remember buying my first album, my first tape, when I was I think seven. I went to yeah. the old Brasher store and yeah. saved up my pocket money for about. However long it was. Yeah. And um, so your music now, um, so what, what's the history? How far have you played in bands for years and things yeah, like that? Yeah, yeah, a long time. Um, I played in, I think, my first band I started with. My other brother, Richard, he was playing bass and I was on guitar and we had, you know, it was, I can't remember who it was now, and drums and yeah. everything. But um, that was yeah, probably when I was about 14, I guess. Yeah, yeah. And um, used to get gigs at some of the local pubs and we thought that was pretty cool. Yeah, so it started out just with um, covers all yeah, the time? Yeah, 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 mainly just covers. It was, I can't remember what we used to do, probably, I've got, yeah, I've got no idea, it was probably a bit of ACDC and stuff like that and Danzig and things, things yeah. like this. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, did you have um, music lessons or were you self-taught? I did um, self-taught for, I think, um, I remember when I first I worked all, all Christmas holidays when I was 13 and bought my first little guitar. Mm -hmm. And um, and then my brother showed me a few of the power chords, like yeah. Smoke on the Water and stuff like that. And and um, so I just sat and self-taught for a few years, I think. And then I started getting lessons, I guess it was when I was about 15, I suppose, a couple of, a few, a few lessons for a while. Yeah. And so, um Acoustic or electric guitar, or preference? I was for always, a... it was always electric back then, it was just because I was into my heavy metal and yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was definitely the heavier side of things. Yeah. So and rock. So obviously, like you say, Akadaka and those sort of things influenced yeah, yeah, you yeah. early Akadaka on. Yeah, Akadaka and, and Kiss and Kiss and yeah, yeah Iron yeah. Maiden and got, yeah. got a bit heavier as yeah. I got a bit older, and then I've gone a bit mellower again. Yeah, I was going to ask you that. How would you describe um, what you? play now if you're, if you're doing a little bit of original yeah that's sort of try, I'm trying to do a lot more original stuff mm -hmm. and um so most of that's acoustic the, yeah. at the moment but um yeah, yeah try to do whatever we sort of still plug in the electric a lot and yeah but most of the originals are acoustic yeah so instruments you've owned is there any that you wish you hadn't sold or things like that is um, it have you had a favorite or you, I think you, the one I've got now is my favorite yeah. and yeah, my both are pretty happy with my electric and acoustic at the moment. Yeah, yeah. And um, yeah, I think they've all served their purpose. They're sort of yeah. some have come and gone pretty quickly, but um, yeah, most of them have, I've had a little love affair with, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> um, what was I going to run into here? Your first public gig um, was that something that you remember getting up on stage? The yeah, I don't remember it well, but I think it was at what was that? Called? It was where the La Paqueta Pizza Restaurant. What was the pub called again? Um, um, wasn't the Cumberland? Albert? Cumberland, yeah, yeah, it was the yeah, Cumberland. That's yeah, right. Yeah. So I think yeah, I was about fourteen or fifteen. It must have been about fifteen, I think. Yeah. And um, I remember having a great time, especially because I was think yeah, fifteen years old, and yeah. they were giving us beer, which was awesome. <laughs> 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 well, I can say that now. They're yeah, not there. Yeah, anymore. yeah, that's right. They're not there anymore. Yeah. <laughs> so no, I had a, yeah, I used to love love that. Was, yeah. And um, I was just gu guitaring, not singing then. Yeah. And um, so what is it? Um, that you really like about music is it um, 
or, you know, a way to just express yourself or is it... Oh, what, to listen or to play? To play, to yeah. Play. Yeah, I think it's just a... There's a, there's a lot to... Yeah, it's a hard one to, to answer that. I get very n nervous playing most of the time, so that part I don't like, but it's a good challenge to try to break mm -hmm. break that. And, um, yeah, it's just a nice... Yeah, just to make music, I guess. It's yeah. just a good thing. Excellent. Now, um, so you're playing... These days, where could people catch you? you? Like you said, you had a band. I think you've got a band that's just finishing up. Is yeah, that right? yeah, yeah, we're just finishing up. So we got our last gig on on Saturday at the Golden Vine. Okay, yep. So we're called Whiskey. Yeah, yep, yep. Yeah. And um, so the, yeah, that's our last gig, unfortunately. But um, these things happen. Mm -hmm. And um, then after that, I've got a few shows of my own coming up. I've been sort of trying to branch out and do some solo sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, what, I think the only one I've really got coming up that people can come to is at Billy Roy's Blues Bar. Okay, yep. Yeah, at the Gold Mines Hotel there on the 6th of June, I think. Yeah, great, <laughs> great little venue. Oh, it's brilliant. Roy's yeah. got going out there. Yeah, yeah. He, does, he puts yeah. on a great show. and Very, very passionate man. Yeah. 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 Okay, well, Dave, what sort of um, advice would you give anybody else out there, like if they're just young wanting to play or even a bit older wanting to play, what would you say is the best way to... How did you, you know, what would you say would be the best way to break into getting out there and... To get out and play, I guess, um, besides practising and um, to, to get out there and play, the the uh, jam nights are brilliant there. Mm -hmm. Like I remember starting off years ago, because I've only sort of started singing recently. And, yeah. But before that I used to just go out with my guitar with a few songs I'd written. So you don't have to think that you have to be a rock star or anything. It's just if you enjoy it, yeah. not you know, just go out there and do it. And, yeah. Yeah, and enjoy it's the main thing. Yeah. yeah. Very good. So that's about all we've got time for tonight. Um, Dave's now going to play an original song, so if you want to grab your guitar, Dave. Okay, or... okay so um, here's Dave with the song I Am The Suicide, and uh, we'll catch you again next week. All right, we'll give it a shot. <laughs> Oh. 
I've done all my running Now it's time for you Run away from me There's a fire coming No, not this time Oh, not this time the clock keeps burning, yeah, I'm turning for me. Burning, yeah, I'm turning for me. Lying suicide, it's on your mind. Lying the hatred that just won't subside. Well, I can take you to heaven, or I could drag you down to hell. Oh, yes, my friend. If you'd like to stay connected with Muso Hub, don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube, like us on Facebook, or follow us on Twitter.